All right, guys. Well, we've got a uh, we've got a tack right there. So that's really cool. What I'm going to do? I should have done this before. Uh, I should have found the center line on this hole, but I can take the leading edge and this rear edge here at the bottom and and uh, just measure the distance between those two. And I want to get my because these are a little different in diameter, obviously. But I want them to look you know somewhat symmetrical, I guess you say. And then I'll I'll find the center line of this and then I'll come down here and put the key switch in. That way it'll look, you know, somewhat nice and neat. So uh, we're making some progress here. Got tubers, I'm making a little bit of headway here. <coughs> I had a uh, two inch hole saw, which this measured close to two inches. is almost perfect, but two inches doesn't mean two inches in uh, China. Made in China, they like everything else. But anyway, uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of the progress here. All right, we got our, uh, our tack hole trimmed out and tack drops in good, no problem. I just got to trim this hole out here a little bit for the, uh, for the oil pressure gauge and that, then uh, get my ignition, you know, get it uh, mounted and everything and I'll be able to start uh, plumbing in the uh, oil pressure line that I can hook up the uh, the gauges. What uh, another thing I want to do though is uh, I've got to weld up a uh, battery box. I want to put uh, the battery box down low, out of the way. Uh, got some old some old angle iron that I'd saved for years. It was part of like an old bed rail or whatever, but it'd be perfect for a battery box and get that welded on at the test stand and. Uh, It'll be cool. So uh, I'm going to carry on here with my work and I'll catch you guys in just a minute. Hey guys, I had to uh, back up a step. I realized whenever I was putting together part two of the engine uh, test stand <coughs> series that I, I meant to hit record when I was showing you my polishing equipment and what it was for. Uh, I didn't hit record or, or lost the file or whatever, so I'm backing up and I want to insert this little clip into that. Um, on the test stand, I wasn't really shooting for a, a, a perfect uh, finish on it. It's just a test stand. I was just going to take the opportunity to show you how I go about polishing something. Um, we could have uh, really sanded the surface on this stainless steel and uh, done a really good job but it was <coughs> really just a quick cleanup with the opportunity to put a little polish on it so you are going to see the grain of the of the stainless steel if I wanted to take the grain out um, this was part of a 3M kit this little uh, attachment I just use a uh, air grinder right angle for this uh, the pad that's on it right now this is kind of like a scotch bright uh, pad but if you wanted to take that grain out of that stainless the kit also comes with three three grits of sandpaper and these just screw up into that attachment if you got the really coarse and then a medium and then a fine that would get rid of that grain to where it'd be really smooth and after you finish with the sandpaper portion of that you would use the scotch bright and go over that that gets the surface prepared you know for for polishing as far as the actual polishing process I use these lambs wool uh, buffing pads buffing wheels whatever you want to call them and then you have different different grits of compound you can see I've used into these and they're pretty hard but it liquefies whenever you uh, Put the tool on it, you know, and you fire it up, it liquefies and it coats uh, it coats the pad. And you just keep going through a series of, of these different grits with that. So uh, it, I know this video is a little discombobulated because I lost the file or whatever, but it didn't make sense, you know, when I was putting the clips together and rendering the video, it, it wouldn't have turned out well at all. So I wanted to back up and show you that, okay? I'll, uh, I'll be continuing on with this engine stand and the wiring and so on and so forth. So uh, hang tight and I hope you enjoy the segment. You can see the difference. Um, this part right here is what I took uh, just the regular wire brush over. 
and it cleaned some of the, the nasty off, but not quite. So this is uh, this is that pad I was telling you about. Okay, that's what I'm using right now, and you can see the difference. Where I, I just I stopped right here, you can see the difference of that. So anyway, I'm gonna finish that out, and then we'll start with some polishing compound, and it you'll see a real difference then. So. All right, guys. I made a trip in the house to uh, get me a cup of coffee, and I'd asked my wife earlier if she'd make me a cake this evening. So uh, I, I'm gonna call this cake "Death by Chocolate Cake" because it's like this uh, uh, Pillsbury Moist Supreme Devil's Food with uh, rich and creamy chocolate icing and M&Ms in it. So that's gonna be awesome. And I've been asking her for a long time to make one of my favorite meals. And I'm not sure what she calls it, but you put Italian sausage, onions, uh, red peppers, and zucchini. This zucchini is what we took out of our garden last year. She, we, she put it up in the freezer. So we're still having zucchini. Not sure all the process that goes into this because my wife refuses to do a YouTube channel. I keep telling her to do one, but she's not into all that so anyway this is just an awesome awesome dinner I don't know what you call it but anyway that's what hand bones having for dinner it looks really good huh all right guys I'm gonna start my my first uh, grit with this and we're gonna start with the brown there there are names for these but I can't remember what they are you'll see them if you decide to do this you buy a package and they're they have different grits this stuff is pretty hard stuff what you do you just uh, you can see I've used into this one you just lay the wheel in there and then you, uh, you fire it up and it liquefies and then it coats your wheel but you can see where it's runny there it's still hot when it's hot it'll come off but normally it's like a block of chalk or something but anyway we'll get this loaded and I'll do a little bit of polishing with this coat and we'll finish off. I remember this is called White Diamond. But uh, anyway, I'll, uh, I'll get this done and uh, then we'll get back in a little bit with another coat. Guys, I want to stop and kind of midstream here in, the, uh, in my steps. What I did, you know, I showed you earlier, I loaded the uh, loaded the pad up with, with, with the compound. What I did, I just kind of went over this area, like, you know, moved over it, and this gets, it kind of sets again, you know, as, you, as I'm moving over here, it's really hot, got it melted, you know, and it, I just kind of color it on there, if you say, you know go over it all and then what I do this it as it dries and you're going through this process it starts carrying that off that's kind of when I know that you know I've done my job in that area when it pulls it back off you can see it's all over all over my shirt when it when it cools it does that it just comes back off so anyway after I finish all this over here and I come down the edge of this I'll start with the uh, finer um, grit on the compound and that would be my final coat. If I really wanted to polish this for real what I would have done would have been to take uh, see these come in different grits that's a really heavy you got another one of those pads there so you got different grits of the sandpaper now this sheet uh, stainless you probably know how it has that grain to it if I had gone over it with a series of like take the fine and kind of scratch out the grain and then go over it with the courses of these pads um, then it would have took the grain out of it and I could have polished it and been similar you know to a mirror or whatever but I'm not doing that I'm just doing this just for I guess you said demonstration purposes it's really not hard to, to polish something so anyway I'm gonna get back to my work here and take this uh, finish this out take this uh, grit off and then I'll go with the finer grit. <laughs> 